Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife here. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging you. I'm literally, where am I gonna put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please, please. He can't do that! Get off my stuff! What are you doing? I'm listening. What are you doing? Get out. Oh, that poor house. You're in your room. Uh, I'm the new honey boo boo of auditing. <laughs> and I told my fiance, and he just started busting out laughing. And I'm like, dude, that's not funny. That's not cool. I'm not the honey boo boo of auditing, dude. I'm not trailer trash. Come on. Why am I being charged with it? I'm not yeah. Now, I usually don't do a second video after I release one, but I just saw this on Fraud or Trolls page, and, and I saw the article online, and it is really, really disgusting what these frauditors, Impact Media, Lizard Media, and his daddy Conrad, well, these are the fools that go to post offices. Uh, they place one guy on the outside with a camera, like a lookout, while the rest of the fools go inside and stir up trouble. But this is truly, absolutely disgusting, and you guys need to see this because I cannot describe it. That's how disgusting it is. And I really wish, I, I really wish that there was a good guy with a Second Amendment that would have helped these people out that got hurt. In a strange turn of events at the Brentwood Post Office today involving a costume man and a lady with a cane that led to self-described First Amendment activists caught on camera attacking a customer. And this apparently was all not some setup for some reality show, even though it looks like it. Fox 11's Haley Winslow is live with a story you'll see only on Fox 11. Haley, we all got to bear with you because there's a lot going on here. I understand that the lady should never hit you. That's just not right. But here's the thing. You should not have acted the way you did. And look at the way this fool is dressed. Look at the way this jackass is dressed above the only on Fox 11 Brentwood. Look at the way he's dressed in a white costume. I mean, I understand, you know, you guys are claiming you're oh, you're fighting for our First Amendment rights. But what does that have to do, do with First Amendment rights? Absolutely nothing. All you had to do is just wear normal, everyday clothes and do your thing. But you want to dress like fools, act like fools, and get you're going to get treated like a fool. <laughs> Yeah, the video is crazy. It gets really hard to watch. And this all happened 830 in the morning, right when the post office opens here in Brentwood and ends with one man getting rushed to the hospital and now filing a lawsuit. It was so surreal and so out of the ordinary and shocking to see. Get off, get off them. Violence at the Brentwood Post Office as a camera crew puts a customer in a chokehold and stomps on the man's head. All I could think of that anybody would think of is George Floyd, the guy who was having trouble breathing. Josh Paris captures it all on his phone. It was 8.30 a.m. Paris checks his P.O. box and sees a costumed character on his way out. All right, what are you out here for at the post office? Um, freedom of expression. Freedom of expression. First Amendment rights. He and his friends are self-proclaimed oh, First yeah. Amendment auditors, part of an online group called Impact Media. I truly hope that black guy there that's getting his head beaten with a shoe, I hope he sues the piss out of not only YouTube, but all these scumbags. I really do, because this is truly disgusting. You know, there's absolutely no reason to hit somebody in the head like that, because that could actually do some really horrible damage to your head and possibly kill you. That stand for freedom of speech and peaceful assembly. Though this was anything but. Uh, what do you call yourself? Uh, sha uh, what the hell? Shadow bug man? No, no, shockwave, shockwave. Fitting because 15 minutes later, he and his troops definitely send shockwaves through the post office. It starts with this elderly woman hitting the First Amendment defenders with her cane, trying to shoo them away. <laughs> Paris says a bystander named Robert tries to help the woman, and the violence quickly escalates. Thrown to the ground, strangled around his neck with somebody's arm, and a foot stomped on his head. Paris says he and a few others call 911, and one of the attackers runs away. This is the type of footage that these assholes love. It really is truly disgusting. It seems like almost every video, if it's not every video, it's pretty much 99% of the videos. They're always causing a situation 
where they're flipping people off, cursing them out. Uh, what else are they doing? They're going after their car to get the VIN number and the tag number. It is just absolutely disgusting. It really is. And I really hope this guy that got attacked finally gets to be able to put it into these scumbags, get criminal charges on these idiots, put them in jail for a long, long time, and get YouTube to pay that victim a lot of money. Because it is absolutely disgusting that YouTube is allowing this on on YouTube. But when LAPD arrives, that First Amendment defender returns camera rolling. Officers quickly put he and two of his buddies in handcuffs while paramedics rush Robert to the ER. Where he was having trouble moving his neck and he was hyperventilating. And as the few minutes went by, his breathing got more labored and I could see he probably needed medical attention, which he finally got. Yeah, it's freedom of speech, not freedom to be violent. You know, witnesses here thought that this was all a Hollywood stunt, that or a very bad dream. And to be fair, it did have all the elements with the stormtroopers, the elderly woman with the cane, and the very violent brawl. And anyone, he, Robert says, I've talked to him several times today, says anybody who thinks that this is a setup can have a look at my medical records. Reporting live here in Brentwood, I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News. As you can see by Impact Media's channel, and this is only a few videos, but... Look at all the videos you see here, the eight videos. They have all one thing. They all show basically something that has to do with violence. Like old Karens are crazy, attacked with a bike, Karen scores up to fight, Karen arrested. But look at it's just really ridiculous. And these fools think it's a game. They really think it's a game. And I know it's California and the Second Amendment is not allowed there. But honestly, if somebody rolled up with the Second Amendment and helped that guy out that was on the ground getting his head beat in, I guarantee you they would have been the first ones to go all over their YouTube page and try to call that guy out that did that. They would use their subscribers to call for the police station, the DA, write threatening, violent emails until the guy that used the Second Amendment went to jail for defending somebody. And it truly is disgusting what these frauders are doing. As you can see by that news media coverage, what does First Amendment auditing have to do with attacking people like that? It doesn't make sense. If you want to educate people, educate people. You don't do it that way. You don't dress like a clown or a fool or whatever you want to dress. Like Daddy Conrad, he dresses with that long old man gray beard, which is truly disgusting and stupid. Why would you... If you're there to educate people like I just said, why act like that? But anyways, I know your blood is boiling from this video. I hope you watch it all the way to the end. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. Somebody call the police on these! Somebody call the police! He hit me in the nut. See, they don't understand that I'm very well educated. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please! I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you. Please. 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 I'm not trailer trash. What are you doing? I'm listening. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're putting your hands on This is a public sidewalk, bro. Yes, it is. Who are you, bro? Who are you? Mm. Bro, please, please, please. I'm on a public sidewalk. No, yes, I am. I'm on a public sidewalk. Call the police. Get your car. Call the police. Call the police on this. Hey, hey. This is a sidewalk, bro. Wow. I'm not in jail. Please. 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 Please.